Our fourth school today is the Miners of Missouri S&T. They finished fifth last year in the GLVC with a 4-4 four and four conference mark. They were 5-6 and six overall. In the GLVC coaches poll just released, the coaches have picked Missouri S&T to finish fifth. Tyler Fenwick enters his fifth season as the head coach and will be joined by senior quarterback Tyler Swart and senior linebacker Austin Trevilian. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Coach, give us a few opening comments about the Miners this year. Uh, well, I think the uh, we've got a lot of juniors and seniors and, and, and experience that we've um, just been developing and building over the years. So, um, you know, with these guys being seniors, and I think our leadership is, um, you know, in the right place. And, um, you know, I think if we can stay healthy, I think we're going to have, a, you know, we're going to be competitive and, and have a chance and, and um, you know, being able to play smart and those sorts of things. You know, we've, we've got the uh, – the nucleus and, and kind of the culture that, you know, that we've been trying to grow over the last four or five years, um, you know, and hopefully we'll see that kind of come to fruition. Thank you, Coach. Give us your thoughts heading into camp regarding the offense and who some of the key leaders will be for you this year. Uh, well, it's obvious it's the first time we've had a fifth-year senior quarterback, and so I think that um, that always helps. You know, he's Tyler's got uh, – he's got experience under his belt as a starter last year, and so, he's you know, he's – He's able to um, kind of dig into the offense, some of the, the smaller things that, um, um, you know, that you kind of figure out when you play games. Um, so I think that always helps. I think our offensive line is going to be, um, you know, very good uh, with, with the, the, uh, the returners that we have coming back with Adam uh, Eckel, um, Nick Wonderly, and, and Austin Holmes, and, um, you know, and then some guys that have, that have experience as well. So, um, and then I think our receiving core, I think, offensively is going to be, um, probably deeper and probably the most athletic since I've been here with um, uh, Braxton Graham and Spencer Elrod um, and a couple other guys coming in. So, um, you know, as a whole, I think, um, you know, offensively, it's, it's, a, it's a really good lineup and, and good depth. Thank you, Coach. Tyler, you're coming off a year in which you threw for the six most passing yards. Uh, you return much of the offensive line in your targets. Talk a little bit about having some of that familiarity coming back into this season, and what are some of your goals for the year? Yeah, so uh, having a lot of returners come back is, is great. You know, experience and working together with them in practice and in games, you can, you can learn right on the fly. You know, sometimes I don't even have to tell them. Like, I'll look at them and they'll be like, you know, I, you know, I should have done this. Like, yeah, you already know. So, you know, having a bunch of experience coming back, it's, it's great. And I think, you know, we're going we're gonna to compete for the title this year. And it's, it's going to be great. Coach, five-year starters return on the defensive side of the ball, including Austin, who joins junior linebacker Landon Compton, and senior defensive end Brett Curtis as all GLVC honorees. Talk a little bit about your defensive unit this year. Yeah, well, I think the same thing. I mean, we've got some juniors and seniors that have played quite a bit of football. Um, you know, they understand the game. They understand what we're trying to do. Um, you know, and I think when you have that, then uh, you, you got guys that can kind of communicate and they can work on the same page. And um, I think the defensive line, I think, is going to be bigger than we have been in the past. I think we'll be a little bit more physical. Um, you know, and then we're going to have some question marks that we're going to have to figure out in our secondary. But I think we've got – the uh, personnel, we just need to figure out who's going to be where and, and what positions and, and figure some things out there. But the talent, I think, is good. Austin, last year, 76 tackles, 12 and a half for a loss, three and a half sacks en route to an all, G, uh, all GLVC honors. Talk about mo maintaining that momentum as well as being a senior leader this year. Well, leadership's everything. Um, that's first and foremost. Uh, we have a pretty strong nucleus of leaders on the defense, and so – um, right in the momentum of my individual success, but overall our defense uh, team success, which is more important, uh, I think we're going to be uh, primed to be the best defense in the GLVC, one of the best defenses. Um, it just like he, like Coach said earlier, uh, we have a strong nucleus of guys, and we've played with each other for a long time. So uh, we kind of depend on each other. We can rely on each other. There's no question marks there. So leadership's just the main objective and the main goal. So. Uh, once we ride on, once we ride on that, we'll be good to go. Coach, give us your thoughts on your special teams. Uh, you have a kicking specialist. We want to hear about. He's also the re, uh, reigning GLVC special player, uh, special teams player of the year, Braxton Graham, and especially it especially helps uh, to have one who's a big threat for you in that uh, department. Yeah, Braxton. You know, it's Braxton is. Uh, 
when he catches the ball or when he you know re receives a, a kick I mean it, it, there's a chance that it's going to go back and um, you know for a big play so um, there's a lot of teams that are kind of have kind of kept it, kept it from uh, kicking it to him um, you know but I think we have a lot of a lot of uh, options as far as Spencer Elrod in, in the return game and, and uh, incoming um, uh, uh, Roderick Chapman um, Justin Vaughn, so some guys that are coming in that I think are also big play guys. I think our kickers, um, I, I think we finally, you know, we found a consistent kicker with Ben Styron, and and then uh, uh, you know Nolan menino has been around. He'll be a senior this year. That's been a punter for us, and and John Banowitz will be um, competing with him for that. So I think our uh, our overall special teams um, specialists are are a, uh, are definitely an advantage for us. Coach, last year your home, your schedule started out with some balance. You had three home, three away. The year before, you had four of your first five games on the road. This year, you open up with two games at home, and then you go hit the road for five straight weeks, essentially alternating between GLVC and non-con games. Take us through your 2017 slate. Yeah, the, you know, the, you look at the five away games in a row, and and um, you know you certain years you could be concerned about it but I think because of the leadership that we have the um, you know the maturity that we have uh, with the juniors and seniors uh, we've been on some road trips uh, long road trips in the past and um, you know I think that uh, I think we'll be able to handle it I think it actually you know for having those those games I think it sets up um, as well as it can be for us um, I think you know, like I said I think we're a mature football team and and I think the way we go about our season is we it's one game at a time and and uh, sometimes I don't know that we really know, like, you know, if it's a if we got a home game or a away game. It's just we just know there's a next game on Saturday, and, and we got to prepare for it and, um, you know, put together the best plan and, and figure out a way to win. Coach Tyler and Austin, thanks for joining us today on GLVCSN. Fans, after this short break, we welcome the four-time league champion, the Greyhounds of UIndy. You're watching the 2017 GLVC kickoff, uh, kickoff on the GLVC Sports Network where champions are crowned. 